All right, folks. Uh, I'm going to do these videos in two parts. I'm going to do the first video is probably going to be the longer one. It's going to cover the finding two numbers and the perimeter of rectangles notes. And then the second video, we'll talk about the consecutive numbers. So if you're looking for the consecutive numbers, uh, that'll be in the separate video. Okay. But in this video, we'll cover the finding the two numbers and the perimeter, which are very similar problems. Okay. So number one, uh, finding two numbers. The larger of two numbers is five times more than the smaller number. If the sum is 78, find the numbers. Okay, so what we have is we have, basically we're adding two numbers together, a small number and a large number. These numbers are gonna be added together and the sum of them is 78 in this case. Now, we are told that the larger of the two numbers is five times more than the smaller number. It doesn't say anything specific about the smaller number. It just says that the larger one is five times more than the smaller one. So because we don't have really anything to go with on the smaller number, we just call the smaller number X. I'm just gonna call it X because we know literally nothing about it. So I'll just say X as that variable representing it. But I do know that the larger number, instead of giving it a whole separate variable, um, like y or something, I know that the larger number is five times more than the smaller number. Now, I just called x the smaller number. So essentially, the larger number is five times more than x. If it's five times more than x, what that means is five times x. So the larger number, in this case, is 5x. If we call x the small number, then the large number is five times x, 5x. So our equation is x as our small number plus 5x to be our large number equal to 78. And we're just solving this equation. Now you have to combine these x's. You have 1x plus 5x. So putting them together, that's a total of 6x's. So 6x equals 78. Then divide by 6. Cancel that out. We have x equal to, I believe, 13. 13 or 14? Um, I think it's 13, okay? So if x is 13, right, that's just our smaller number because remember, x is the smaller number. So if x is 13, then 13 is our small number. But we still have to find out our large number, right? Keep in mind, remember, the large number is 5x. If x is 13, then the large number is 5 times 13 right? 5 times 13 is 65. So our small number is 13. Our large number is 65. It almost looks like I'm writing negative 55, but I'm not. Okay. That's our large number. And if you need to check your work, so we've answered the question. 13 is a small one. 65 is the large one. To answer the question, we can see if this fits, right? The small number plus the large number is supposed to be equal to 78. So 13 is our small number. 65 is our large number. And 13 plus 65 is indeed 78, so that those numbers do actually fit, okay? So I know that was a very long introduction, but uh, let's look at the similarities between that last problem and the second problem. The larger of two numbers is four less than twice the smaller number. If the sum of the numbers is 41, find the numbers. So same setup, okay? We have a small number plus a large number. Okay, and when I add them up, it says that the total is 41. So it'll equal 41. Just like the last problem, it doesn't give me any information about the small number. So I'm just going to call the small number X. Okay, so if you want a pro tip, all of these problems that we refer to the two numbers, the small number is going to be X. We're always going to start off with X being the small number. And then we really have to, you know, read the problem to understand what the large number is going to be or how at least we're going to write it. So call the small number x. Again, we don't know anything about it. The larger number, though, is four less than twice the smaller number. Now, four less means you're taking away four from something, right? A lot of times people read this and they think four, and then they see less than, they think minus, and then they think twice the smaller number. Now, twice the smaller number means twice 
x because the smaller number we just called x. So twice the smaller number is really 2x. So sometimes people read 4 less than twice x as 4 minus 2x. That's not right. That's incorrect. If I'm subtracting something, I'm taking it from something. So I'm taking away 4 from 2x in this case. So 4 less than 2x is not 4 minus 2x. It's 2x minus 4. Because to subtract something, you have to be taking it away from something else. In this case, we're taking it away from twice the small number, or 2x. So 2x minus 4 is how you write 4 less than twice x. 2x minus 4. Okay, so be very careful of that. Sometimes you have to kind of remember that when you see this, it's actually going to be at the end of the problem um, after the 2x. It's not going to be before the 2x, okay? So now we just got a, this equation to solve. We have x plus 2x minus 4 equal to 41, and we just solve. Just like the last problem, I've got these x terms. I need to combine them. So 1 plus 2x, or 1x plus 2x, makes 3x, right? Minus 4 equals 41. So when I solve it, add 4 to both sides, we get 3x equal to 45. And then divide by 3, we have x equal to 15. So don't forget, x is our small number, and x is 15. Therefore, 15 is our small number. Now, the large number, don't forget, you have this information, use it. The large number is twice x and then subtract 4. So if x is 15, then the large number is going to be 2 times 15 minus 4. We just plug the 15 in for x. We have our solution. So 2 times 15 is 30, and 30 minus 4 is 26. So 26 is the large number. Okay. Number three, the larger of two numbers is nine less than five times the smaller number. If the sum of the numbers is 123, find the numbers. So same setup as always. We have our small number, and then we're going to add our large number. Just like the last problems, we don't know anything about the small number, so we just call it x. Okay, just all three of these problems, we called x the small number. Okay, well, I erased it here, but it was x, don't forget, right? So x is going to be the small number again. Now the larger number, okay, is 9 less than, so that means it's going to be minus 9 because we're going to have to take something minus 9. 5 less than 5 times the smaller number. So we're going to have to have 5 times the smaller number, which is 5x, because remember, x is the smaller number, so 5 times x. And then 9 less than that means subtracting 9 from that, 5x minus 9. So five, 9 less than 5 times the smaller number is 5x minus 9. And don't forget, this equals 123. Okay. The um, pen's not working too well, but I'm about to end. I'll probably end the video here and start a new video on the uh, perimeter stuff. Okay, But when you solve this problem, you'll have uh, x plus 5x minus 9. equal to 123. So combine your x's, x plus 5x makes 6x minus 9 will then equal 123. And so add 9 to both sides. Oop. Add 9 to that. You'll have 6x equals 132. And then divide by 6, you find that x will equal, uh, what is 123 divided by 6? 
Um, I believe it's 22. Yeah, it's 22. And don't forget, that's the small number. 22 is our small number. If you want to find the large number, plug 22 in to 5x minus 9. So 5 times 22, which is 110, and then subtract 9. And the large number ends up being 110 minus 9, which is 101. So those are your solutions for that problem. Now I got to fix my screen real quick. So I'm going to end the video here. I'll do the perimeter problems in a separate video. I'll see you guys in that one. Okay.